Hello grade 3, how are you today? I hope you're doing great. On this video we're going to learn about spelling list 7. So we're going to find it on Oxford Discovery Student Book, page 56. For booklet A, you're going to find it on pages 79 and 80. Let's start. The first word is sentence. What does sentence mean? So sentence is a group of words that tells you something. A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So let's check. The hat is blue. Does it start with a capital letter? Yes. Does it end with a full stop? Yes. It's also a group of words that tells you something. So this is a sentence. The example says, I can write sentences in English. After this we have rhyming words. What does rhyming words mean? So rhyming words are words that have the same ending sound. Like the two words we have here, hat and cat. They are rhyming words. Why? Because both of them end with the same sound. Let's look at the example. The next two lines end with rhyming words. Let's read them. The kids walk into the cave. It's cold and dark, but they are brave. So what are the two rhyming words we have here? They are cave and brave. Why? Because both of them end with the same sound. After this, we have the word verb. What does verb mean? So verb is a word that tells you what someone does or what happens. So something you can do is a verb, like the word run. The example says, play, read and go are verbs. Sometimes also we call the verb an action word. So let's practice. So I want you to prepare a pencil and a notebook. What are you going to do? You're going to write down your answer and after this you're going to check your answer with me. Let's start. Here we have nine sentences. What we're going to do, we're going to circle the verbs on each sentence. So let's start with the first one. The dog slept under the bed. So what is the verb here? Write down your answer first and after this check the answer with me. So the verb here is slept. So slept is the past of sleep and sleep is a verb. Number two, who's knocking on the door? What is the verb here? Let's check. It's knocking. So number three, she ate the last cookie. So what is the verb here? Let's check. Ate, yes. So ate is the past of eat. Number four, the car passed at the house and stopped at the corner. So. What are the verbs here? Let's check. We have passed and we also have stopped. Number five, they will sing and dance in the show. So what are the verbs here? We have sing and we also have dance. Number six, we met our friends at the movie theater. So what are the verbs here? On uh, uh, on number six, we have only one verb, which is met. So a met is the past of meat. Number seven, Emma wants apples, but they, but they only have pears. So what is the verb here? It's wants. Number eight, the two children only talk when they are near the school. So what is the verb here? Let's check. It's talk, yes. Number nine, the corn grew and grew until it was over the farmer's head. So what are the verbs here? Yes, it's grew and grew. Let's go on. After this, we have noun. So what is a noun? Noun is a word that is the name of a person, place, or thing. So the example says, doctor, school, and pencil are nouns. So doctor is a word that is a person. School is a word that is a place. And pencil is a word that is a thing. And all of them are 
nouns. So let's practice. Here we're going to circle the nouns on each sentence. So first you're going to write your answer and after this you're going to check the answer with me. The first one, the fish swam in the river. What are the nouns here? Let's check. Fish and also river. Both of them are nouns. The second one, the girl kicked the ball. So what are the nouns here? So the nouns here, girl and ball. Number three, the boy cooked noodles. So what are the nouns here? We have boy and we also have noodles. After this we have the cat drank the milk. So what are the nouns here? We have cat and we have milk. After this we have the dog parked at the car. So what are the nouns here? We have dog and we have also car. My shirt is red. So what is the noun here? There is only one noun here which is shirt. Your hat is green. So what is the noun here? It's only one noun also which is hat. After this we have the word adjective. What does adjective mean? So adjective is a word that describes a noun. Look at the picture we have here. So red is an adjective that tells you about the color of the apple. So adjective is a word that you use with a noun that tells you more about it. So the example says, red, big and amazing are adjectives. So what are we going to do here? We're going to circle the adjectives on each sentence. So remember first write down your answer and after this check your answer with me. So number two, the spotted cow ate grass. So what is the adjective here? So let's check. The adjective here is spotted. The word spotted describe the cow. Number three, a brown owl hooted into the, into the night. So what is the adjective here? It's the word brown that tells you about the color of the owl. Number four, the round foot is kept on the big table. So what are the adjectives here? Here we have two adjectives. The word round, which describes the foot, and we also have the word big that describes the size of the table. Number five, the four birds flew away into the blue sky. Also here we have two adjectives, four that tells you about the number of the birds and blue that tells you about the color of the sky. Number six, Dan's short brown coat got wet into the rain. So what are the adjectives here? We have short and we have brown. The two words describe the word coat. Number seven, there are five boys and seven girls in my new class. So what are the adjectives here? Five, seven, and new. Number eight, there are six black mugs on the rack. So what are the adjectives here? They are two, six and black. And both of them are describing the word mugs. Number nine, the old brown chest is heavy. So what are the adjectives here? Let's check, it's all brown and also heavy. The three of them are describing the word chest. Number 10, the three tall women took a walk in the big park. So what are the adjectives here? Let's check together. We have three and we have tall. Both of them are describing the word women. And we also have big, which tells you about the size of the park. So let's go on. After this, we have syllable. What does syllable mean? So, syllable is a part of a word that has one vowel sound. So look at the word we have here, banana. So banana has three syllables, has three parts, and each part has one vowel sound. So, ba, na, na. 
after this look at the example we have player has two syllables we also have the word spider so how many syllables does the word spider have yes I can hear you saying two so the word spider has two syllables two parts spider After this we have letter. What does letter mean? So letter is a sign in writing you use to write words. Like the picture here, this is letter A. The example says there are 26 letters in English language. And also in Arabic we have letter like this one. After this we have Robin. What does Robin mean? So look at the picture. What can you see in the picture? This is a picture of a bird. So and this bird is called Robin. So Robin is a kind of bird. It's a small brown bird with a red front. Let's look at the example. I saw a Robin on the tree. The robin is a small brown bird with a red front. After this we have angelfish. What does it mean? So look at the picture. This is the picture of an angelfish. So it's a kind of fish. It's a small fish with bright colors that people keep as a pet. So we can raise uh, angelfish at home. The example says, the angelfish has bright colors, as you can see, it has so colorful. I have an angelfish in a small tank, like this one. So now we have snowflakes. What does snowflakes mean? So, Look at the picture. This is a picture of a snowflake. So snowflake means pieces of falling snow. The example says the falling snowflakes are beautiful. I like watching snowflakes falling from the sky in winter. Like this picture. So let's practice. You're going to open Oxford Discover student book on page 56. So what are we going to do in exercise B? We're going to write words that we can find in nature in this box. And we're going to write words we use to write poetry on this box. So words we can find in nature like snowflakes. And what else? Let's check together. Robin. So and what else we can find in nature? Angelfish. So, now let's move to words we use to write poetry, like letters, and what else we can use to write poetry? Sentence, and what else? Rhyming words, and also we use verbs to write poetry. We also use nouns to write poetry, and what else? Adjectives, and what else? Syllable, yes. So now you're going to open booklet A on page 80. So exercise A, we're going to read the following sentences and unscramble to form the words. So let's start with number one. Look at the in paragraph 22. So what is this word? Can you guess? Yes, it's so easy. Sentences. Number two. We use words to write poetry. So what is this word? Hmm? Yes, I can hear you saying rhyming. Number three. Young students learn and numbers. So what is this word? Let's check together. Yes, it's letters. Number four. A was picking out crumbs on the ground. So what is this word? Yes, it's Robin. The word jellyfish rhymes with, so what is this word, can you guess? 
Yes, I can hear you saying angelfish. So exercise B, you're going to complete the following sentences using words from spelling list 7. So let's start with the first one. Was hopping around the path. So can you guess? So let's check now. Yes, the robin. Number two, the air was cold and the falling faster. So when it's cold, let's check. Yes, snowflakes. Number three, a is one of the main parts of a sentence and expresses an action. So what is this word? Let's check the answer. Yes, it's a verb. Number four, a is the name of a person animal place or a thing so what is this word can you guess yes it's a noun number five the word doctor has to has to what so let's check syllables yes the word doctor has two syllables we can divide the word doctor into two parts so we have finished your primary three, so goodbye and see you next time. Have a good time.